Tell me I'm right. You're not right. Yes, I am. On Maggie's life, I'm not right. No. You want Maggie to die? <laughs> Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Nikki and I'm Adam and in today's video we have a snack and food review So yes. if you enjoyed this video or find it helpful, please go ahead and give it a like and subscribe to my channel I really appreciate it. It really helps the channel out So thank yes. you for doing that and let's go ahead and get started with some food My stomach's honestly growling. We like to find low point options on Weight Watchers That's what we use to track our food And so we try to find low point options to try of new things that we haven't had before although I'm telling you I think two things today we've tried. I don't know. I went back and looked at my snack reviews and I couldn't find them, but I think we've tried a different version of this. I swear it was called something else before, one of them, and then this, it just seems familiar, but we're gonna see, so maybe <laughs> okay. our ratings will change. Also, I wanna mention that today we're doing our ratings a little different, so we got whiteboards, Yay. and recently in the past couple videos, we have changed our rating system from one to five instead of one to 10. We just feel like we did a really bad job at doing lower numbers when it came to that and I feel like it's more definitive with the one through five so we're gonna do that but we're gonna write it on the whiteboard and hold it up when we do it each time except we're gonna add decimals just half decimals though because it does help a little bit hopefully that doesn't change it back to going to like a 10 scale though because you know what I'm saying that no, adds the point five. no because like a three is different from a four but a 3.5 is like yeah I say we just use the decimals when we like absolutely have to yeah. but try to keep it at like yeah, a one through I'm, five yeah. but I I, there are times where it's like it's so close to being a five, but you don't want to call it a five, but it's not a four, That's so it's what a I'm four saying. and a half. I know, I get it, I get it. <laughs> so anyway, we're gonna try it out this way today and we're gonna find what sticks and what we like best But that's what we're gonna do today starting out with a drink like we always do I am so excited for this drink right now because I love protein shakes and I went ahead and made us a protein shake to try So we each have half of it here, which honestly half still looks like a pretty decent serving Yeah, so what I did was what we're trying today is this PE science protein powder so this flavor is strawberry cheesecake. It's two points for the scoop, 120 calories. It's got a gram of fat, four carbs, two grams of sugar, and 24 grams of protein. So we have been loving PE Science and their different products, especially their protein powders. Their pre-workouts are pretty good. We yeah. like them a lot, but I'd say the protein powders are my favorite that we've tried of theirs. And so we've tried a bunch of their flavors and we haven't tried this one. I don't know what I'll think about it though, because I'm kind of picky with strawberry flavored things. So we're going to see. True. But the way I make a protein shake is just three quarter cup of this milk. So this is the Fairlife fat-free milk. It is only one point for that serving. So I did three quarter cup of that a scoop of the protein powder for two points, a banana, and some ice cubes. So technically the entire thing is three points. We're splitting it today and we're gonna see what we think. But 24 grams of protein and two points for a scoop is not bad. Yeah. So definitely, it smells, it smells like strawberry banana actually. I feel like with the banana it'll definitely be good. Yeah. Let's see. Cheers. Cheers. I love their protein powders. It's so good. That's really good. It almost tastes kind of like a strawberry banana smoothie. That's really good. That's very good. I like it with the banana. Same. Yeah, so we have another one we like. We have a few other flavors that we've been... I've gotten the Snickerdoodle twice already, yeah, so that's so my we, favorite. I don't think we've tried one that we haven't liked. <laughs> no, no. But the Snickerdoodle's only one point for the scoop. This one's two. I don't really get, like, a cheesecake, but it's, like... No. It's a good strawberry flavor. Yeah, definitely. Okay, so one through five. This is just because I'm comparing it to the other ones we've tried. Same. Ready? Three, two, one. Yeah. Four! Oh, you're going to be able to see a reflection of the camera every time. <laughs> but... Anyway, there it is. <laughs> four, four for me. <laughs> then we got our little eraser. Oh, it's nice. That's a good Oh, eraser. yeah. That's a satisfying eraser. Okay, so our drink is good. Now it's I'm gonna just good. keep drinking this. Okay, so starting with some salty items. Let's go ahead and just try this first. Yeah. This is the thing that I said I feel like we've tried, but I think it was like a different flavor before. Like, I thought they had a different teriyaki one, but I might be just getting it confused with the sweet potato one because it looks yeah. kind of similar. But this is Mighty Sparks. This is the teriyaki style chicken stick. This stick is two points on Weight Watchers. It has, oh, I can barely read it, 60 calories. Does it say on the front? 60 <laughs> calories. <laughs> It's got two grams of fat and six grams of protein. I love, love, love Mighty Sparks. The Honey Jalapeno is my all-time favorite. I eat one pretty much daily. It's two points for that one as well. And so I'm super excited to try the teriyaki. It's like juicy in there. Look at that. Ooh. 
It smells really good. I agree though. This is probably like my favorite meat stick brand. Oh yeah. Out of all the brands we've tried and we were eating Chomps for a really long time and now it's I compare the two and I'm like, oh. They're just so soft. I, I still like Chomps, but I can't yeah. go back. I love, well, I love the chicken sticks and I love Mighty Sparks. They're different flavors and stuff. Even the sea salt one is only one point, but I just feel like these have like a good bite to that. They're not like dried out. Like sometimes. That's why I said they're like softer. Yeah. And I think it's because it's like the chicken stick. I don't know, but okay. Ready? Ready. Cheers. Cheers. It's like so soft. Mm -hmm. What does that taste like? It tastes like a sausage that I can't, I don't know. Yeah, you know like, what I'm talking about? It like has like a specific mm -hmm. sausage flavor I'm thinking of, but, I don't know, but super that's a, flavorful. That was amazing. It's salty and it's really like, you definitely get the teriyaki, but yes. those sticks even are so soft. They're not dried out. Those are delicious. Two points for one is not bad. It's got six grams of protein. Those are some of my favorite snacks to have when we're like hiking and stuff like that. I don't know. I know honey jalapeno is still my favorite. That one's really good. And for two points, ready? Yep. Three, two, one. Oh, Ooh, I gave it a five. <laughs> See, I didn't because I still think the honey jalapeno is a five. I mean, the honey jalapeno Whoa. is like a six. Okay, well. The honey what jalapeno is. <laughs> don't start doing that now. Oh, you're not. I'm not allowed to. You get to make your rules. I didn't make any rules. I didn't make a single rule. I roll. love the honey, honey jalapeno, but yeah. this is like, I would. That's my second favorite, 100%. Yeah. Like, like I, picking between the two, I, I don't know. It's what tough. Think. So good. Okay, the next thing we're gonna try, also another thing that I thought we've tried something similar, but maybe not, maybe not this brand, but a different brand. They are the Kala Power. Adam picked these out though, so. So if we did, it's my good. fault. <laughs> <laughs> Kala Power, these are Love at First Bite uncured pepperoni pizza bites with cauliflower crust. So for six bites, it's 190 calories, it's nine grams of fat, 26 carbs, three grams of fiber, two grams of sugar, and five grams of protein. Six points for that serving. So pretty much each bite is a point, and we just tossed them in the air fryer. They smell like regular pizza puffs, but they also kind of smell Ooh. a little bit like farts because it smells like cauliflower. <laughs> you know how it goes. You but know how it goes. <laughs> they really do just look like regular pizza puffs. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> They smell like cauliflower, but I feel like I don't really taste it. Mm -mm. They taste so much like res regular pizza puffs, like mm -hmm. the tortina pizza rolls or whatever. Yeah. If we've had those before, why don't we keep buying them? I don't know if we have, like I said, That's but we need to start buying these for appetizer night because mm -hmm. these are really good. And six points for six is not bad, mm -mm. especially because they taste like pizza puffs. Right? I wonder what the other ones, what the points are for regular, but these are also gluten free. I think they had a ch four cheese one too. Okay. I like the pepperoni though. I'm it's got saying. a good, like, it kind of got a little kick to it and we just air fried them and they cooked perfectly. Yeah. That's really good. I get a little bit of cauliflower aftertaste. Yeah, but not bad. Not not enough that it like changes the flavor, honestly. Yeah, that's wow. good. Those are really good. Three, two, one. Oh! <laughs> I'm going higher than you did. Maybe I'm just hungry, but. Yeah, I think those are really good. I do too. I want to try the cheese ones, but I'm going to start buying them just because I crave pizza rolls a mm -hmm. lot. Like I, I used to eat those all the time as a kid, I feel like. We never buy them. I haven't had them in years. Yeah. And that tastes just like them. Right. Cool. Yeah, we didn't even buy them like before. Yeah. Next up, we're going to go ahead and try this. So this is a pistachio. It is the Planters Deluxe and the flavor is spicy Cajun. So I feel like we've seen like, we've tried a few different flavored pistachios just from that one brand. Yeah. Like they have the barbecue and stuff like that, but I've never seen a spicy Cajun pistachio. These are 160 calories for about 50 pieces, which is an ounce, 13 grams of fat, eight carbs, three grams of fiber, two grams of sugar, and five grams of protein for that serving. And that serving is only four points on Weight Watchers. So kind of low for like a nut. Yeah. But yeah, the serving is 28 grams. They look like they're really seasoned. I hope they're Ooh, not too they spicy. Because don't they say they're spicy Cajun? Yeah, they, they are spicy. They smell like something we've had before. Really? Pistachios. Is it pistachios? <laughs> Like they seasoning. only smell like pistachios. <laughs> so I, I'm saying I don't smell any seasoning. Cheers. Cheers. I love pistachios, like Same. in general. They're just so good. I always forget how good they are. Same. What do you think about the seasoning? It's good. It doesn't have like a kick, but there's a lot of seasoning on there, so it's like perfect. Yeah. I was waiting to see if there was like any spice. There really isn't, but I was going to say it almost tastes like lime, but there's definitely not lime. It's definitely just like a slight Cajun flavor. It's yeah. not anything crazy. Ready? Two, yep. two, one. Oh, Ooh, same. same. <laughs> they're pretty, they're basic, they're good. Yeah. But I was expecting a little bit more spice, but I mean, the flavor's still good. Yeah. It's not anything like crazy unique or anything. I just, I like pistachios. They're a little salt, like extra salty though. Yeah. I feel like everything we're having today is pretty salty. Yeah. We didn't say it. It was 3.5. I don't know. Do we? Oh, 3.5. Yeah. <laughs> I, I should, I should. I meant to That's what I was going to say. Because some people just listen. We both got a 3.5 for that. Yep. And I haven't been saying where we've gotten these things. Mm. I realized I ordered the protein powder off of PE Science's website, but it's also available on Amazon. 
These were from Walmart. And these, honestly, I think were from Walmart too, but yeah. we got them a little bit ago. Next up, so we really like the brand Good Foods. They've got some really good dip options. A lot of different like plant-based dips. This is their dill pickle chip dip. We've never tried it before. It says top nine allergen free. For the serving of two tablespoons, it's 50 calories. It's got five grams of fat, two carbs, one gram of sugar, and one gram of protein. And the first ingredient is cauliflower. So it is a cauliflower based dip, which honestly, have we ever had a dill pickle cauliflower dip? I don't, I don't think, think we so. have. We've tried a lot of different cauliflower dips, but not. I don't think we've done dill pickle. I feel like this is gonna explode. Oh, it did. It smells like. Ooh, it smells like cucumber. It smells like tartar sauce. Yeah. What if it could be like a good low point tartar sauce? That'd be good. I should have this sticks then. Yeah. We're gonna be trying this dip with these, which actually works well because it says it's a chip dip, so I feel like usually like potato chips. True. And these crunchy curls kind of taste like potato chips to me. So two points for two tablespoons, 50 calories. Cheers. Cheers. That tastes like a tartar sauce. Like a lot. Like it only tastes like a tartar sauce. Yeah. <laughs> now I wanna make fish wraps. Right, that would be so good on like fish tacos, breaded fish tacos or something. Honestly, I could see us like snacking on it with like chips and pretzels and stuff yeah. like that, but I think it would be so good on, first of all, I think burgers it would be good on. Very good. Also, we need to make fish or something and have mm -hmm. it with this because this tastes just like tartar sauce. It's good. It's Two really points good. isn't bad either. No. Interesting, okay. I wasn't expecting it to taste like that. Same. It's not too like over the top. Like some of the dill dips we've tried are like so much yeah. dill. I'm not trying to look at your number, sorry. You're staring at my number. Ready, yep. three, two, one. Oh, mine is higher. Four. Three. I say four just because two points isn't bad for that. And now I have a new way to have tartar sauce. I don't know. I feel like I'm going to like use this more. A yeah. Lot, so I like it. I wasn't expecting it to taste like tartar sauce, but yeah. it's still good. It's going to be um, so good with fish. Yeah. I, I do want to try it with fish. So that's why I kind of put it in the middle. Okay. The last salty thing that we're trying today is this, which we actually just found this at Aldi. So, oh, by the way, <laughs> I got this dip at Target. <laughs> anyway, though. <laughs> This was from Aldi and I've never seen this before. It's Bold House Farms, but it's their fire chili ranch. So first of all, I'm kind of scared it's gonna be spicy. I didn't realize it said fire chili. That was just chili ranch, but I figured this would be a really good option Ooh. for chicken or for different bowls. It is two points for two tablespoons, which is normal for the Bolt House ranches. It is 50 calories for that serving, three and a half grams of fat, three carbs, two grams of sugar, and one gram of protein. And let's see. So we just went ahead and made ourselves some Just Bear chicken strips that we're gonna be trying in here. I really hope it's not too spicy. <laughs> it's just yeah. a lot. Two points for two tablespoons, normal for the Bolt House Ranches. And let's see, cheers. Cheers. It's spicy. Mm -hmm. Not really spicy, but it has a kick for me, so I know it's gonna have a kick for you. Mmm. Is that your cheese? Mm-hmm. That's so good. That's amazing. <laughs> it's really good. I don't know if it's just like with that chicken, it almost tastes like, like Dave's hot chicken sauce. Oh, okay. Like the I sauce you I can see that because it's creamy. Yeah. But it's spicy. It's got a kick to it's it. It's got a good kick to it. But like, this is my ideal kick where yeah. it's like, my mouth's burning a little bit, but it's not like I'm like in pain and it's kind of going away. It's still kind of staying there actually. <laughs> that was a good find. That's really good. I know. We almost didn't catch it either. Mm -hmm. And they also had a dill pickle version, but we didn't <laughs> get that because this one expires really quick. It expires next week. So. I think we will use it. <laughs> Well, it says sell by, so I mean, I guess we could still. Yeah. But wow. Okay, yeah, my mouth is actually still burning a little bit from that one. It's good though. It doesn't even taste like it's like a ranch yogurt ranch. Mm. It almost tastes like it's like a chipotle sauce I'm or something. We use like, that in wraps and anything with chicken. It's right? Like so even good. like tacos sound good yeah. with it or like bowls, definitely. Yes. Three, two, one. Five. five. I give it four and a half. Five. <laughs> I think this one's a five. No, I, I think it does have really good flavor though. There are not a lot of. Old houses that have a little spice to them. Yeah, are there any? Uh, the only one that's like salsa ranch, but that one doesn't really have a spice to it. This yeah. one is probably my all-time favorite bowl house ranch. Definitely. It's so good. It, it doesn't, it like, it's creamy because of the ranch, but it doesn't have that like strong of a ranch flavor because yeah. it's just got that good, just like, that is so good. It's really good. Now I almost want to bump it up to a five. No, it's a four uh, and a half. Oh, okay. <laughs> I sound so Don't aggressive about you. it. <laughs> it's really good though. That is it for salty. Let's go ahead and move on to sweet. We tried these before and actually really like them. They are pretty similar to Bear Bells. I feel like they're like sweetened the same way and that's why. Also, pretty sure Bear Bells are Swedish too, right? And these are Swedish. I think but so. these are NYX protein bars. So today we're trying the peanut chocolate, which I I don't know how to actually say that. I don't want to mess it up totally. Yeah. But I'm not even gonna try it here. <laughs> I'm excited because I'm guessing it'll be kind of like a salty peanut bear bowl. It's 190 calories for the bar, 10 grams of fat. It has 20 carbs, 6 grams of fiber, 3 grams of sugar, and 15 grams of protein. So not bad for that. And it's 5 points for the bar, which is always good. I feel like 5 points for a protein bar is pretty ideal. It's a decent size for 5 points, I'd say. Tinier. 
yeah. Anyway, these I think are available on Amazon. I was actually sent these by NYX. I was super excited. They sent me this for the holidays. So I had some other flavors in here as well that we've actually tried before, like the caramel and the nougat one, and we really like those. So I'm excited to have them. But thank you to NYX for sending us those. I was not expecting that at all. Yes, thank you. But we're gonna go ahead and cut this in half. So you can definitely see the peanuts in there. They look yeah. giant. Yeah, they do. <laughs> Ready? Cheers. Cheers. That's good. That's really good. It also, it doesn't really taste like a beer ball today. Mm. Like it doesn't taste like the salty peanut one I wouldn't say, but. Mm -hmm. I love the peanuts in it. Yeah, that sounded really weird. What? <laughs> I didn't tell you you said peanuts. I, it really tastes like a candy bar, honestly. Yeah. I'm trying to think, I feel like, is it like a Snickers that it tastes like? I like that it's like pretty chewy. Yeah. It's, it's really good. I like that one. Me too. That might be one of my favorites that we've tried of their flavors though, actually, which I think I might like it more than the caramel one. Whoa. Three, two, one. Four. Four. Nice. Boom. It's good. It's very good. I wish it was a little bigger, but yes, I agree. it's got 15 grams of protein, five yeah. points. Not bad. Solid. It tastes like a candy bar. Yeah, it does. Next up, we're going to go ahead and try these Fit Butters. So we've tried some of these before, but we've got some new flavors that we were sent last time and haven't gotten to yet. We have chocolate chip cookie dough cashew butter, which I'm excited because I really, really like their cashew butter that they had sent us that we tried earlier. And then we also have a cinnamon sugar cookie cashew butter. Could you be any louder with the silverware over there? Sure, not sure. <laughs> then we have a cinnamon sugar cookie cashew butter. So the cinnamon sugar cookie cashew, oh, cashew almond blend. So, oh my gosh, mm. I don't know if I've ever had a cashew almond. That'd be good. Yeah. This one's six points for two tablespoons. It's got 180 calories, 14 grams of fat, nine carbs, two grams of fiber, one gram of sugar, and seven grams of protein. It has added plant protein and made with coconut oil. Then for this one, which is the chocolate chip, this is just a cashew butter and it is 190 calories for two tablespoons, 14 grams of fat, 10 carbs, one gram of fiber, four grams of sugar, and seven grams of protein. And this one is seven points on WW. Oh, it smells like a chocolate chip cookie. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that smells really good. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix it up. I've mentioned this before, but whenever we get a new nut butter like this, I just use a butter knife and I kind of just like stab at it and then mix it. Oh, you just spit all over me. <laughs> And then I just mix it around. Theirs are definitely much more like desserty, I would why. say, because they've got a lot of toppings. They are higher in points usually. That's what I was gonna say. This actually looks really good, that and does. they're really getting me on that cashew butter train. I really like cashew butter. Is that funny? I like cashew butter. <laughs> So it says ways to enjoy rice cakes, oatmeal, pancakes, fruit, and spoon. I think an apples too. This one is definitely not as runny for like apple nachos. And the thing about these is they have so many chunks in them that it's like hard to drizzle. This one's but perfect just, for rice Oh my cakes. gosh. It smells like a chocolate chip cookie. I can't get over how much it does. Whoa. Okay, ready? Ready. Cheers. Cheers. It tastes like chocolate chip cookie dough. This is actually dangerous to have in the house. I think the only way I'll eat this is with a spoon. I really wanted a second bite and I'm glad you went for one too. Yeah, I was trying to see because there's like, is there actually chunks of dough? Like, oh my gosh. What the heck? Why does it have to be seven points? That's so That's good. why. I mean, yeah, it tastes like straight chocolate chip cookie dough. Mm-hmm. Come on, we both had our answers quickly. Three, two, one, five. Yeah, five. <laughs> Honestly, even with the points being higher, I'm giving it a five, and I'm usually I'm usually pretty harsh you on that. You want to bring stuff down because of <laughs> I know points. that one is so good. That's my favorite flavor we've tried so far. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's really good. So that's the chocolate chip cookie dough. It just tastes like chocolate chip cookie dough. Then this one is the cinnamon sugar cookie almond cashew butter. So this one is much more liquidy, which means it'd probably be better for apple nachos. And this one also doesn't really have many toppings. It just has like a lot of chunks in it. So this one is six points for two tablespoons. Cheers. Cheers. That's really good. Mm -hmm. Definitely tastes like a sugar or like a snickerdoodle, honestly. Yeah. It's much thicker. Mm -hmm. Like, of course, we're just eating like spoonfuls of peanut butter, but like, it's still really good. I definitely like the almond butter, cashew butter combination. I like the other flavor better, but mm -hmm. what do you say? Anything about it? It's really good. <laughs> it, it does taste like a cinnamon sugar cookie. That's what I was going to say. It really does taste like a snickerdoodle. And it's got, I feel like it's got like chunks of almond in it. I think that's what the crunch is, which is good. Yeah. And six points isn't bad. Mm -hmm. I think that one would be really good in oatmeal and... Apple nachos. Those are rice cakes. I feel like that would be good. Yep. Three, two, one, four. Four. Yep. We agree. We if I don't know if it would have changed if we would have tried that one before the cookie dough one, but that I, cookie dough one is so good. I don't think so. No, I don't think so. Either. 
that's really good. Then we have, which also, the Fit Butters were sent to me, I already said this, but the Fit Butters were sent to me by them. Um, we just got a package of them, and we had saved these two from earlier, so that is from them, so thank you. I think they're available in like GNC or Vitamin Shop, maybe, but I know they're available online. Then this is the brand Lenny and Larry's. These are their complete creams, chocolate flavored. So we got chocolate and vanilla. I was actually sent these, which I got an email from them and they asked if we would just try their new products. They sent us some wafers and then these cookies. So we're trying the cookies today. We'll save the wafers for a different day, but we're excited to see what we think of them. Honestly, I don't really know if we've tried any Lenny and Larry's products before. I have a long time ago. I've had like their big protein cookie that you can get like 7-Eleven. Yeah, I don't I've think we've that. ever tried on here though. But yeah, no. So these are, for the serving of two cookies, 130 calories, 7 grams of fat, 14 carbs. They have 3 grams of fiber, 7 grams of sugar, and 5 grams of protein. So that's pretty good. The first ingredient is a protein blend, so they are definitely like a protein cookie. They have 5 grams per serving of plant-based protein. And the serving is 4 points on WW for two of them. For one, it's 2 points. I kind of like that they come in two different packages because sometimes we don't like to go through like a whole thing. Yeah. You know? They're a little squished. There's definitely a lot of like cream filling in yeah. them. They smell good, they smell like Oreos. They kind of smell like that Oreo cereal. Do you remember Oreo yeah. cereal? Mm -hmm. So I'd say it's a decent size for a two point cookie. They, they stuff kind of came out of them probably from shipping, but it comes with six in a pack and there's two packs. Cheers. Cheers. I actually don't think there's any artificial sweeteners. It doesn't like have a taste of that. No, I was gonna say it's weird because this one actually got the protein taste right away and then the aftertaste doesn't have it when normally I feel like it's the opposite. True. I didn't really get much of a protein taste. Not like crazy, thing. but like the cookie itself, like yeah. you can tell like there was a little more protein in it, but those are very good. Yeah, I was gonna say it kind of tastes like that Oreo cereal, like what it smells mm -hmm. like. It used to be like the Oreo rings, right? I don't know yep. if they still have them, but yeah. that's really what it tastes like to me. And I think two points for a cookie is not bad. Mm -hmm. I'll definitely keep eating those all I can. Yeah, I wanna I keep eating them now. Another one right now. <laughs> Three, two, one, four. Four and a half. Oh, okay. I like those a lot. Yeah, I do too. I think that's a good dessert option. I think even just one of them is like a satisfying right. sweet thing, especially like I said, after like lunch and stuff, I always just want like one sweet thing and I feel like this is like perfect. That's like a perfect grab. Okay, the last thing we're trying today, I'm so excited about these. We've had them in the fridge for a little bit now. And after our last video, I mentioned that I had seen their bars at Target too and I had never gotten them because they were different. They have like the truffle treats. So they actually sent us these and I'm so excited. After that video, they said that they would send us the same bars that are at Target and I just love Potty Mamas, so thank you for sending them to us. We really appreciate it. Like I said, these are available at Target, and I'm guessing you can order on their website because you can order their different products, which I was actually just looking at making an order because I want more of those. Yeah, they're so, so good. Anyway, these are the flavors that we have here today. So they have three different ones, and they are truffle treats. So there's two treats in each one. With these, they are very, like, sweet. I say this every time we try the Honey Mamas because it seems like it's a small portion, but it is so, like, indulgent and, like, fudgy almost in a way that it's... It's worth it for it and like usually after the serving we're like full from it yeah. so anyway we've got cinnamon roll chocolate cake and mocha crunch all of these are five points for the serving for the serving of half the bar it is 80 calories seven grams of fat it's got seven carbs one gram of fiber four grams of sugar and one gram of protein so we've already tried the chocolate cake flavor before but never the mocha crunch or cinnamon roll honestly i want to try cinnamon roll the most but let's do the mocha yeah. crunch first i feel like the coffee might overpower it but let's see it's 80 calories for the serving, seven grams of fat, six carbs. It's got four grams of sugar and one gram of protein. And you can see they're very similar to the bars that we usually get that have like the three sections, but it's just two halves. So honestly, five points for that. That's a pretty big portion. Again, these are made from pretty much raw honey. So they're very sweet. And yeah, let's see. Cheers. Cheers. Is this the one we tried? Mm -mm. We tried a coffee one. Yeah, we tried like... I think it was actually called like coffee something. Either way, so good. It's such good coffee flavor. It's very good. I'm honestly mostly just excited to try the cinnamon roll. I've been waiting for this, so. Ooh, I didn't expect it to be this color even. It looks like it's got a little bit of like a cinnamon coating on it. It's melting in my hand. Yeah, same. <laughs> it's five points for this portion. Cheers. Cheers. It's definitely like a whole different taste than the other ones we've tried. Yeah, you know what's weird? It almost, I don't know if it's just the icing part, but it almost tastes like the toaster strudel icing. Hmm. I don't know, very specific Random. and weird, but that's what I got a flashback of when I ate that. <laughs> it definitely is, is very sweet. That one's yeah. probably one of the most sweet ones that we've tried. It's really good though. It's really good. 
Honestly though, I like it. I think I almost like the mocha one better. I just love their like classic flavor with I it. I love the, the coffee beans, whatever yeah. it is that's in well, there. It's so good. They have almond chunks that I think in a few of them that make it so crunchy and it's just really good that way. All of them are really good, yeah. honestly. Every single flavor we've tried, we have enjoyed. Like even flavors that I'm like, eh, I don't know if I'm gonna like this. I'm always so surprised good. by how good it is. So that's really good. Okay, do you have the same rating for both? Yeah. Or, yeah, I, honestly, I probably do too. Three, two, one. Four and a half. Four. I just love them. I crave them every single night for dessert, and they're just so good. And these are very similar to the ones we've tried. Yeah. I do really like the cinnamon roll. It's definitely different. They're a nice, good, they're a good treat. Like, it is mm -hmm. definitely a treat, a dessert, and it's very sweet, but really even just to have, like, a little bite is, yeah. 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 I like these little squares like this, because, like, a five-point square is not bad. Mm-hmm. That wraps up everything that we're trying today. Yeah. <laughs> that seemed like a lot. What was our favorite salty thing? This was was it that? This was mine. I'm gonna give the teriyaki sticks my, this is my favorite salty. Mine's the Bolt House Fire yeah. Chili Ranch. <laughs> and then favorite sweet, I mean, this Fit Butter was yeah. so good. The, the cookies are really good, the protein powder, but that wasn't <laughs> a sweet. I do this every time where I just look, everything, everything. sweet was good today. Like, honestly, yeah. everything we tried was very, very good. I'm very happy. Good. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. We always have a lot of fun doing these. We're always looking for new snack suggestions. It seems like there's not even know. snacks left for us to try, but there are so many still. So many. Even though we might have repeated one today. I don't, I don't think know. we did. <laughs> We're gonna, I'm gonna go back and check all of them. But <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys find this video helpful. If you did, please go ahead and give it a like and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we will see you next time. Bye.